I'm Mike Stanton and this is a BAM Credit Insights video. The Shemokin Coal Township Joint Sewer Authority in Pennsylvania sold $9.9 .9 million of sewer revenue bonds this week. The bonds were rated AA with a stable outlook by S&P Global Ratings because they were guaranteed by Build America Mutual and they also carried the BAM Green Star designation for green bonds in the municipal market. I'm joined today by Howard Splumberg, Managing Vice President here at Build America Mutual who led the analysis on the transaction and is taking some time to tell us what he looked at. Howard, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So let's start with the credit analysis. What were the key factors that you needed to evaluate? Well, the key for BAM is to evaluate the authority's ability to repay its debt service. And we considered several key strengths of the authority, including a stable and primarily residential service area that includes about 18,000 residents. We also considered the sewer rates to be relatively affordable. And finally, the system operations are strong. There is ample capacity. The sewer treatment plant has a capacity to handle an average of about 8.5 million gallons per day, and the current flow to the plant is only about 4.25 million gallons per day. Now, we had to weigh these strengths against uh, some offsetting factors, including below average household income levels and some remaining capital improvement needs that the authority is facing to uh, reduce the overflow is due to combined sanitary and storm sewers. So these bonds are a refunding of debt that was originally incurred to start tackling some of those uh, capital improvement needs. It's related to the fact that the uh, sewer system is a combined sanitary and uh, storm sewer system, right? That's correct. In 2006, the authority acquired the collection systems of its member municipalities. Now these new bonds will refinance debt that refunded 2006 debt that financed the acquisition of the collection systems. That acquisition has been very helpful in uh, meeting the requirements of the consent decree. Uh, those bonds also funded some needed capital improvements back in 2006. So how did you analyze these bonds in terms of the BAM Green Star qualification? We looked at the uses of proceeds from the original bonds, concluded that they were part of a sustainable wastewater management program, and that was the basis of our conclusion that this bond issue is eligible for the BAM Green Star designation. Did the issuer make any commitments to future reporting and disclosure as part of the BAM Green Star process? No, because this is a refunding issue and the construction is completed on the projects that the bonds financed. No additional reporting is required beyond the annual disclosures that we ask all issuers to provide. For new money issues, we do require BAM Green Star issuers to provide construction updates just to confirm that they are spending the proceeds the way they said they would. Uh, but we've worked very hard to make sure that this is not a particularly burdensome requirement. For more information about this issue, please check out the BAM Credit Profile that's posted to our website or email us at creditinsights at buildamerica.com.